It's always an advantage to have the skill to do long distance flight calls with accuracy, but it's seldom needed. Instead, it's much more important to be able to read the water and to fish where the fish are. This is two very similar clips taken in the same current. In the upper left corner I hook a big sea trout on a short cast and on the big screen a salmon with not even the bell of the fly line out. I surely hadn't hooked any of these fish if I had thrown the fly to the opposite bank. Keeping the fly where the fish are is the major key to success. You can see the catch of the sea trout in a separate clip on my YouTube channel, Dr. John Dangler. Don't miss it. The salmon is fighting hard, using a strong current to its advantage. It's important to keep pressure on the fish, so it can't rest. Yeah, sunglasses on, so I can find the best spot to land the fish. No problem. And back again. This is an old clip, but it shows exactly what I mean. Keep the fly with the fish are. In this case, keep it short. It's a big fish right there. I keep hard pressure on the salmon to make it stay in the upper part of the pool. I don't want to go downstream, but the current is even harder and with lots of stones. And there it is, a male salmon, one meter in length. It's a good catch, I take that any day of the week. Well, I'm not perfect of course, and sometimes I also tend to go directly for the opposite bank. Look at this, I just put the fly out a short distance. I mend the line to keep the fly in the current and start to pull line from the reel so I can make it to the other side. Then the fish take the fly, and I hadn't actually started fishing yet. Talk about huge bonus. And more, it's a big fish. In the end, it turned out to be my biggest salmon this year, some 110 cm in length, and that's at least 12 kg in weight, probably more. So even though the fish might look a little bit lazy, it's still not a piece of cake to get it where I want. It's easy to lose the fish at this stage, if you're underestimating its strength. 
Big sand and always have power left for last breakaway. It's a big beauty right there. And back where it belongs. This catch I'm particularly pleased with. As always, simplicity is the best. I just place the fly with the short cast in the current, letting it drift towards the expected fish, moving 2-3 meters forward after each cast. Fish on! It looks on the replay that I'm even faster than Lucky Luke. Gotta put that on my CV. Yeah, it's an angry salmon right there. Nope, not this time. But I soon got a new chance. This time, it was no problem landing the fish. Bye, see you next year. And this is the fly I used, my own creation, Goldeneye. You can see how to tie it in the video on my YouTube channel, Dr. John Dangler. 